Hey guys and gals, Von Baden here to finish talking about this build. Um, just recapping everything. Uh, two millimeter foam on the outside. Give that detail. Uh, what I did was because of the cosplay character is kind of like a post-apocalyptic type thing. I took some of the elements that she said was in her costume and what the character she was trying to portray. So I took those things and came up with some of these elements on my own. Some of it is uh, a little work between the two of us and this is what I came up with so the first thing was because her character is raven bird like type character <clears throat> I thought it would be kind of cool to add a bit of the bird silhouette so what I did was uh, she had sent me a few different pictures of birds that she liked and designs that she liked. This is the one that I ended up going with and I cut it out of the two millimeter foam and then I wood burned the line work into the thicker foam. The next thing that I did was I wanted, because of the fact that this would be post-apocalyptic, foraging and materials would be more scarce and maybe not the best quality, so your forges would be a bit more rough. So what I did was to give it a beat up, more rugged look, I took tin foil and I crumbled it up. I heated up the foam after I glued glued the two millimeter onto the bigger foam. I heated up the foam and I pressed it into the tin foil, which gives you a nice as you can see there's dents and dings and whatnot on both sides. To give it a more not a perfect forge shall we say I then also took the wood burner and kind of nicked it and charred it up a bit to give it a little bit more details so when I go back over and I stained it I let the stain sit on there for a few minutes and then I wiped it off to leave some of it in the details but not everything so it didn't darken it up because she did say she wanted something that was shiny, which we do have. Um, and I wanted to find a paint and I don't know how well this is showing up on camera, but I wanted to find something that was um, uh, were, uh, iridescent, yeah, it, 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 shiny and shimmery, like crow's feathers, which goes with her outfit. And that blue that's in there does have that in it. But I didn't want, I just didn't want it to be two tones and that was it. So I also took an antique gold and I painted around the edging of all of this to give it a little bit more shiny, shimmery look. After doing all of that, I was originally going to put EVA foam wrap around the handle for this part. and. I thought, well, since there's not going to be a a sheath that I'm going to make, I mean, she might make one, I don't know. 
but since there's no sheath, maybe making something out of uh, a material that's a little bit more durable and stronger would be the better route to go. So I went with this um, bow suede uh, cord and I did my wrap and tie up on it, gave enough length to where it can hang. Um, and that's about, well, I did, I, the original paint on this is a metallic silver, as you can see, which gives it a nice shiny shimmery. And uh, I wanted to add a lot more detail to it. So that's when I did the whole tin foil on there and all that stuff so but that is about all that I could say about this build I want to say thank you very much for her taking the time to talk to me about her character and for us to discuss a few things about her cosplay character so I can make a knife that matches her her character and the whole story of their cosplay events that they do so this will be going in the mail to her and happy slashing first time on my channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button heck while we're at it why don't you go ahead and leave a comment down below Tell me you love the red beard. Just talk. We don't talk anymore. And it hurts my heart. <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. Anyways, enough of all that. Like, subscribe. Let's have some fun. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.